The Testament of Binyamin, Benjamin. The copy of the words of Binyamin, which he commanded his sons to observe, after he had lived one hundred and twenty-five years. And he kissed them, and said, As Yitzhak, Isaac, was born to Avraham in his old age, so also was I to Yaakov. And since Rachel, my brother, died in giving me birth, I had no milk. Therefore I was suckled by Bilhah, her handmaid. For Rachel remained barren for twelve years after she was bo had born Yosef. And she prayed to Yahuwah with fasting twelve days, and she conceived and bore me. For my father loved Rachel dearly, and prayed that he might see two sons born from her. Therefore I was called Benjamin, that is, a son of days. And when I went into Mitzrayim to Yosef and my brother, recognized me and said unto me, What did they tell my father when they sold me? And I said unto him, They dabbled your coat with blood and sent it and said, Know whether this be your son's coat? And Yosef said unto me, Even so, brother, the Canaanite merchants stole, stole me by force. And it came to pass that as they went on their way, they concealed my garment as though a wild beast had met him, met me and slain me. And so this, his associates sold me to Yishmaelim, and they did, they did not lie in saying this, for he wished to conceal me from me the deeds of my brethren. And he called to him his brethren and said, Do not tell my father what you have done unto me, but tell him as I have told Benjamin. And let the thoughts among you be such, and let not these things come to the heart of my father. Do you also, therefore, my children, love Yahweh Elohim of heaven and earth, and guard his commandments, following the example of the good and holy man, Yosef? And let your mind be unto good, even as you know me. For he that has his mind right sees all things rightly. Fear you, Yahuwah, and love your neighbor. And even though the Ruach Oath of Baal claim you to afflict you with every evil, yet shall they not have dominion over you, even as they had not over Yosef, my brother. How many men wished to slay him, and Elohim shielded him. For he that fears Elohim and loves his neighbor cannot be smitten by the Ruach of Baal, being shielded by the fear of Elohim, nor can he be ruled over the device of men or beast, for he is helped by Yahuwah through the love which he has toward his neighbor. For Yosef also besought our father that he would pray for his brethren, that Yahuwah would not impute to them as sin whatever evil they had done unto him. And thus Yaakov cried out, my good child, you have prevailed over the bowels of your father, Yaakov. And he embraced him and kissed him for two hours, saying, And you shall be fulfilled the prophecy of heaven concerning the Lamb of Elohim and Savior of the world, and that a blameless one shall be delivered up for, a lawless, for lawless men, and the sinless one shall die for wicked men in the blood of the covenant for the salvation of the other nations, and of Yasharel, and shall destroy by all his servants. See you therefore, my children, the end of the good man. Be followers of his compassion. Therefore be a good mind, be with good mind, that you may also wear crowns of glory. For the good man does not have a dark eye, for he shows mercy to all men, even though they be sinners. And though they devise with evil intent concerning him, by doing good he overcomes evil, being shielded by Elohim. And he loves the righteous as his own soul. If anyone is glorified, he does not envy him. If anyone is enriched, he is not jealous. If anyone is valiant, he praises him. The virtuous man he louds. On the poor man he has mercy. On the weak he has compassion. He sings praises unto Elohim. As for him who has the fear of Elohim, he protects him. As with a shield, he that loves Elohim, he helps. He that rejects El Elyon, he admonishes and turns back. 
And he that has the grace of a good Ruach, he loves as his own soul. If therefore you also have a good mind, then will be both wicked men be at peace with you, and the pro profligate will reverence you and turn to good. And the covetous will not only cease from their inordinate desire, but even give the objects of their covetousness to them that are afflicted. If you do well, even the unclean Ruach oath will flee from you, and the beast will dread you. For where there is reverence for good works, and light in the mind, even darkness flees from him. For if anyone does violence to a holy man, he repents. For the holy man is merciful to his reviler, and holds his peace. And if anyone betrays a righteous man, the righteous man prays. Though for a little be he be humbled, yet not long after he appears far more glorious, as with Yosef, my brother. The inclination of the good man is not in the power of the deceit of the Ruach of Baal. For the angel of peace guides his soul, and he does not gaze passionately upon corruptible things, nor does he gather together riches through a desire of pleasure. He does not delight in pleasure. He gives not grieve for his neighbor. He does not sate himself with luxuries. He does not err with the uplifting of the eyes. Yahuwah is his portion. The good inclination does not receive glory or dishonor from men, and it does not know any guile, or lie, or fighting, or reviling, for Yahuwah dwells with him, and lighten, lights his soul, and he rejoices toward all men always. The good mind does not have two tongues, of blessing and of cursing, of cont contumely and of honor, of sorrow and of joy, of quietness and of confusion of hypocrisy and of truth, of poverty and of wealth. But it, his, but it has one disposition, uncorrupt and of pure, concerning all men. It has no double sight nor double hearing, for in everything he, which he does, or speaks or sees, he knows that Yahweh looks on his soul. And he cleanses his mind that he may not be condemned by men as well as by Elohim. And in like manner, the works of Baal are twofold, and there is no singleness in them. Therefore, my children, I tell you, flee the malice of Baal, for he gives a sword to them that obey him. And the sword is the mother of seven evils. First the mind conceives through Baal, and first there is bloodshed. Secondly, ruin. Thirdly, tribulation. Fourthly, exile. Fifthly, death. Sixthly, panic. Seventhly, destruction therefore was cain cain also delivered over to seven vengeances by elohim for in every hundred years yahuwah brought one plague upon him and when he was two hundred years old he began to suffer and in the ninth nine hundredth year he was destroyed for on account of, of havel his brother with all the evils was he judged but Lamech with seventy times seven, because forever those who are like Cain in envy and hatred of brethren shall be punished with the same judgment. And do you, my children, flee evil doings, envy and hatred of brethren, and cleave to goodness and love? He that has a pure mind and love does not look after a woman with a view to fornication, for he has no defilement in his heart because the Ruach Elohim rests upon him. For as the sun is not defiled by shining on dung and mire, but rather dries up both and drives away the evil smell, so also the pure mind, though encompassed by the defilements of earth, rather cleanses them and is not itself defiled. And I believe that there will be also evil doings among you, from the words of Hanuk the righteous Enoch that you shall commit fornication with the fornication of Sodom, and shall perish all save a few, and shall renew wanton deeds with women. And the kingdom of Yahweh shall not be among you, for straightway he shall take it away. Nevertheless, the temple of Elohim shall be in your portion, and the last temple shall be more glorious than the first. And the twelve tribes shall be gathered together there, and all the other nations until El Elyon, 
sends forth his salvation in the visitation of a of infer, for the firstborn prophet, and he shall enter into the first temple, and there shall Yahweh be treated with outrage, and he shall be lifted up upon a tree, and the veil of the temple shall be rent, and the Ruach Elohim shall pass on to the other nations as fire poured forth, and he shall ascend from Sheol, and shall pass from earth into heaven. And I know how lowly he shall be upon earth, and how glorious in heaven. Now when Yosef was in Mitzrayim, I longed to see his figure, and the form of his countenance. And through the prayers of Yaakov my father I saw him, while awake in the daytime, even his entire figure exactly as he was. And when he had said these things, he said unto them, Know you, therefore, my children, that I am dying. Do you therefore truth and righteousness, each one to his neighbor, in judgment unto confirmation, and guard the Torah of Yahuwah and his commandments? For these things do I leave you instead of an inheritance. You also therefore give them to your children for an everlasting possession. For so did both Abraham and Yitzhak and Yaakov. For all these things they gave us for an inheritance, saying, Guard the commandments of Elohim until Yahuwah shall reveal is Yeshi, Yeshua to all other people. And then shall you see Hanuk, Noah, Shem, and Avraham, and Yitzhak, and Yaakov, rising on the right hand in gladness. Then shall we also rise, each one over our tribe, worshipping the King of Heaven, who appeared upon earth in the form of a man in humility. And as many as believe on him in the earth shall rejoice with him. Then also all men shall rise, some unto glory and some unto shame. And Yahweh shall judge Yasharel first for their unrighteousness. For when he appeared as Elohim in the flesh to deliver them, they did not believe him. And then he shall judge all the other nations, as many as did not believe him when he appeared upon earth. And he shall convict Yasharel through the chosen ones of the other nations, even as he reproved Esau through the Midianim, who deceived their brethren, so that they fell into fornication and adultery. And they were alienated from Elohim, becoming therefore children in the portion of them that fear Yahuwah. If you therefore, my children, walk in holiness according to the commandments of Yahuwah, you shall again dwell securely with me, and all Yasharel shall be gathered unto Yahuwah. And I shall no longer be called a ravening wolf uh, on account of your ravages, but a worker of Yahuwah, distributing food to them that work what is good. And there shall rise up from my seed in the latter times one beloved of Yahuwah, hearing upon the earth his voice, and a doer of the good pleasure of his will enlightening with new knowledge of all other nations, even the light of knowledge, bursting in upon Yasharel for salvation, and tearing away from them like a wolf, and giving to the synagogue of the other nations, until the consummation of the age shall be in the synagogues of the other nations, and among their rulers, as a strain of music in the mouth of all. And he shall be inscribed in the holy Sepharim, both his work and his word, and he shall be a chosen one of Elohim forever. And through them he shall go to and fro, as Yaakov my father saying, He shall fill up of that which is your tribe lacks. And when he finished his words, he said, I command you, my children, carry up my bones out of Mitzrayim, and bury me at Chevron, near my father's. So Benjamin died one hundred and twenty-five years old at a good old age, and they placed him in a coffin, in the ninety-first year from the entrance of the children of Yashorel into Mitzrayim. They and their brethren brought up the bones of their fathers secretly during the Canaanith Kena War, and they buried them in Chevron by the feet of their fathers, and they returned from the land of Canaan and dwelt in Mitzrayim until the day of their departure from the land of Mitzrayim.